What's going on guys, FJ Eric here, and we are back at the shop. Uh, gonna be camping this weekend with my friends, John. He is the owner of this black FJ right here. Maybe you recognize it from one of the past videos um, that we did in Talladega National Forest when we went camping and riding out there. I'll put the link to that above and below. We're gonna be working on the drawers um, all weekend, and this is just to kind of get you an idea. This is John's drawers right now that he built. This is my fridge. We were just doing some uh, testing and stuff. But so we're gonna double this one up right here. So you're gonna have one, two, three. And once you pull this one out, that's what's gonna have the stove um, and like a mid-sized drawer. And then he's also gonna build a fridge slide tilt too. Super stoked, we picked up some wood earlier and gonna get to that. The only difference that you're gonna be able to see noticeable is I'm gonna paint mine a little bit different so I can put stickers on the outside. And I've actually got these slides right here that are a little bit more heavy duty um, that's gonna have those ticks like on the end you know so we're gonna have those slots cut out um, it's gonna look just a little bit different but essentially you know that's gonna be you know more of the concept so super stoked can't wait to start on that uh, this is a tin that he just got and he got a new mattress topper that's the reason why it's open right now so he's gonna test that out this weekend at this little park pretty close by here are some of the mods that we got done last weekend, if you saw it on my story. But got this snorkel on. Really changes the look. Super stoked, I love it. We did have some issues though um, that I can go over a little bit later on. It was just a cheapo from Amazon. So yeah, you can imagine we did run into a few things. But all in all, still looks good, still works. Got these ditch lights mounted on both sides. Don't have those wired up just yet. Still waiting on my relay box and everything to come in. Finally ended up putting the CB antenna right here. Uh, we actually used the stock antenna brackets that were underneath. So didn't have to do much work on that. But if y'all remember, um, <laughs> same weekend with John and a buddy that we actually mounted the CB to the antenna with some zip ties uh, just so I could use it on the trail. But I don't know, it still worked that way, but definitely liked the look a lot more. And two, added these solar panels, um, like I said, been been posting a lot more on my story on Instagram on some of the other mods that we're doing. So got this one on the hood and got this one up here on the tent. Again, not hooked up quite yet. I've got the dual battery and everything. Still having to build a bracket and everything for that. But we're gonna actually end up running the wires um, down here through here and then into the hood, just what I've seen a lot of people do. So still have a lot to do, but we are making progress for sure. I also did take the back seats out and I'm gonna do away with this box completely. I realize it is overkill. Gonna be moving the subs around. I may not even stick with these same ones. Maybe get something else. But also gonna have a, almost like a little cubby system, uh, shelf type deal uh, to have instead of the back seats so I can you know, put more clothes back there and some of my other camping gear. I know this probably doesn't make much sense, but I'm actually thinking about putting my factory antenna up here because now that I have the solar panel on the hood, I'm so sure I can't see my bumper anymore, so I have no clue, you know, how close I am to something. Probably should have just mounted the CB on the bumper and then I would have had, you know, all my problems solved. But you know, nothing works out that way. I've just got it propped up right now. Um, but let me know what y'all have used or if you've even had that problem. Maybe I'm just a lot shorter than everybody else that drives FJs out here. And I'm really just trying to piece everything together. Still waiting on some parts and stuff to come in. But yeah, let's head in the shop. Big vibes. Look. I'm about my pledge, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in a bag filled. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bullshit. Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special. She brainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. Niggas talk a whole lot, know what damn well they really can't press us. I notated on leaflet. I'm really up a few levels with it. Like way, way out the way from them. Can't see me, you can't battle with us. E and J in my Earl Grey hood, brunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face. No stunning shade, still turned up. Then had it pop in in broad day, that's IV. Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fake. Alright guys, so this is all we've got done today. 
Um, using it kind of like some cubbies right now. We are going to be actually finishing um, some actual drawers tomorrow. But the top part is right over here still setting. And maybe we'll have enough time to work on the fridge slide tilt tomorrow. But just went and picked up some wires, boom, boom, to hook up the ditch lights officially and also run the solar wires from up top uh, down this pillar. So exciting stuff. And now we're gonna go grab something to eat and then head out to the uh, park that we're supposed to be camping at. I think it's supposed to get a little cold tonight too, uh, maybe like mid twenties. So we're gonna try to get out there and set up before it gets too, too cold and actually get a fire and stuff going. But yeah, I'll see y'all out there. All right, just got to the campsite and now we're gonna try to get this fire going. So I do have just a little bit of cardboard uh, from the stuff we opened today actually. So I got my uh, solar panel wires and then this is actually those drawer slides. If you want to use any of that, you want to walk into. That one's kind of a little bit longer, you might get legend in the back. John was saying this place is next to like a lake or something? Yeah, that's it. The lake is just right over there. Okay. Yeah. So legend has it there's alligators out here. Maybe y'all remember this rig too uh, from when we went camping out in Talladega. I don't know if you've ever seen any of my videos, but uh, <laughs> they're not very <laughs> fire starter friendly. <laughs> we thought we got pulled over on the way up here. Really? Yeah, because, but we come over these these railroad tracks and then there's a uh, cop that just pulls right in front of us, lights on and everything. And you know, I immediately like turn our blinker on because uh, I didn't know, you know, we we're about to turn. Yeah. And he's just sitting there, not doing anything. And then all of a sudden here comes a uh, white charger or a challenger it was. It's, I mean, it's probably only running like 40 miles an hour uh, right in front, like on the road, and then there's a cop behind him, and then that dude just like whips it around, and they start going after this guy. But he was like, that wasn't a high-speed chase, but he wasn't stopping. Eric, you want to help? Yeah, I can. mine I just do just the bottom one. It's a perfect oh. Can you hand me that pole? Yeah. How many times have you slept in this? Uh, twice only. Okay. But this will be the first time with that mattress uh, yeah. topper? Yeah. Nice. Does that look straight? Uh, fairly. Ish. Because this comes with an AC plug, right? Yeah. Oh, you gotta turn it on. <laughs> you just check the clicking colors? Yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. And you still can't even, like, I mean, this is so bright, but it's so hard to pick up on the camera, like, how bright it is. So y'all know 
how much stuff I normally have loaded in this thing when I go camping. Um, but since I had to clean everything out for the drawers, this little Walmart bag is all I have to survive on. And uh, just let me share what's in here with you. <laughs> Most of the stuff is my backpacking stuff. So pots and pans, you know, it's got like the little uh, lighter inside, beard comb, toothbrush, toothpaste, ramen to cook, got some socks because I know it's going to be kind of cold. Uh, I actually picked up one of these. Couldn't find my last one so I had to get another uh, little fuel can. But yeah, that's all I have for this whole trip, which I mean I knew that we were going to go eat though. We had talked about doing that, went to this restaurant. What was uh, what was the name of that restaurant? Jay something? Jay? Jay Birds? Raised. Ra raised on country. Yeah, raised on country. Uh, downtown Tuscaloosa. It had, um, man, I took a picture of the uh, burger side of the menu. I'll, I'll just show that. But, I mean, elk, bison, uh, rattlesnake, um, kangaroo, camel. Like, any type of meat you could think of they had. It's pretty neat. So this big clip up here we actually installed last time. Uh, a dude actually just messaged me on YouTube. Uh, shout out to him. I'll put the link right here. Um, for I just got this on Amazon, but it makes this tent so much easier to close. Uh, which these are fine, I guess, but it's almost like the handle's not really long enough. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in the morning. Uh, but this one, you just get so much more leverage on. Airtight right now. They got both the side windows up. I mean, this one's pretty, pretty stout too, though. Drying that shit out. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I know we got these, like, but they're still warmer than out here. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Finally got the fire going, and you know, since I don't have anything in the FJ, I forgot my stool and camp chair and stuff. So I'm just kind of sitting on this log, makeshift. It's really not that bad. Uh, then I look over. This dude's got an ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> He's over probably his feet up. He's bouncing on his floor. How does that work? That works. What the fuck? It's all catching. <laughs> You're not planning on that happening. This lot gets so bright when you start getting tired. I can't find the one that you can actually dim though. I don't know what I did with it. It's like everything else. Once I take it out of the FJ, it's pretty much lost forever. That's why I just keep so much stuff in there all the time. All right, that's on low. put these uh, down jackets or synthetic jackets, any of those, around your feet and your sleeping bag keeps them a little bit warmer. 
and I don't really have a ton of layers on. So I'm just going to layer my bags. Pretty neat little park. Uh, now we're going to grab some breakfast and then head to the shop. I am not usually one to complain about you know how I slept or anything, but I did not sleep very good at all last night. Come to find out, my pillow had a hole in it, so it just kept going flat. And like you, you know, you want to have something <laughs> underneath your head. Um, so I just kept waking up, probably you know. I don't know, it seemed like every like 40 minutes or something like that, I put air back in the pillow, but oh well. All right guys, so now we are building the actual drawer. About to cut the bottoms. Had to end up taking this little net off um, for it to close right here. Just that little bit was knitting on the end of it. So this is everything that we've gotten done on the drawers today. Uh, these heavy duty slides are actually really awesome. They lock all the way out, just like that. And then when you put them in, they lock in there as well. All you have to do is just lift up on them. Now we're about to hook up the ditch lights really fast. Um, and then next weekend, or maybe even during the middle of this week, I'll come back up here and we'll get the faces on and start working on this one and remember this one's the one that's gonna pull out twice um, so I'm still waiting on those slides to come in the mail should be pretty soon um, and we're still trying to get an idea really of uh, how we want to set that up So I got to camp, got these drawers going, um, so that's what's up. I'm going to see if I can't get a short video of how bright these uh, ditch lights are going to be. I just got them on Amazon, you know, pretty cheap, I think they were like 60 bucks or something. Um, probably just going to be temporary, you know. Not sure when we're going to get to finish these drawers, um, but y'all be there, so stay tuned.